What is up? It is the Essig. I am the captain, and you're watching the DBZ Xenoverse Team League Week 3 Season 1 matchup between Anti and the Fire Nation. Anti, Anti Squad versus Fire Nation. There's been a matchup that's been highly anticipated all season. We all figured it was going to happen. And here it is. This was an absolutely legendary battle. Uh, obviously, starting off with uh, Sweaty versus JW0623. Very nice wrath, but Sweaty dodged it by throwing out a meteor there. Everyone in this game just. Oh! Meteor countered by gravity impact, only to get perfect shot. Vanisher guarded, then he fell out of the wrath. Perfect shot missed. He checks out a meteor. Sweaty, obviously, starting to get the upper hand here. He misses a gravity impact by dodging an evil whirlwind. Chucking out that fucking meteor. But, of course, JW Tech rolls through it. Sweaty doesn't get baited out by the, uh... Oh, man. His evil whirlwind hit the fucking Godbreaker, but then he broke JW's stamina. Wow. I barely followed that, but what an impressive win from Sweaty. So now we're heading into their second match. Show your dominance, Sweaty. I'm a little biased, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm on anti, come on. A uh, little bit of snap banishing here. Everyone in the league is so good at that. Oh, Sweaty going in for some combos, getting the back attacks, misses that one. Dodges the gravity impact by throwing out an evil whirlwind. This guy, man, I'm so, look, Sweaty is just so good, but he just broke him again! Sweaty is so good with the hands! Oh, the pimp slap, but, plot twist. Oh, and he thought it would save him. He thought it would save him, but he was wrong. He thought it would save him again. And stamina gets broken again. Oh, finishing it with a meteor. GG, JW, good fight, fire. It's not over yet, but Sweaty's definitely put Anti one step closer. So here's Sweaty versus Faith. How will this matchup go? Faith's an odd one. She's known, or he, I'm sorry, is known for being very good, but I don't, I haven't seen him fight a whole lot, except for, obviously, in this match. He's showing very, very masterful use of his key abilities here. He went up against Sweaty's Evil Whirlwind in the Gravity Impact, but he timed it just so that his would dominate it. Perfect block Sweaty and then hit him with the God Breakers. It's one thing that was definitely the bane of our existence in, the, in this matchup was a uh, God Breaker. So now Sweaty's throwing out Pearl Flash just because it was very hard to time. But then he dodges the God Breaker by throwing an Evil Whirlwind. Wow. And you, you see, you see, both of them have excellent use of planing. Faith just got the knockback with a milky cannon, but then threw out a blaster meteor or a blaster shell, actually. Man, Faith's just so good at blocking the meteor. And I don't think that Pearl Flash connected. And Godbreaker for the finish. So Faith putting down an impressive performance against Sweaty. Easily one of the better members of Anti, uh, no question. So, round two. Sweaty's not going down without a fight. Oh, much more impressive positioning from Sweaty this time. I'm not sure what happened there. I think Lag might have stopped his evil war with from connecting, which is why Godbreaker didn't go off, but... Sweaty's got the upper hand for, uh, for now. Impressive bit of Dragon Dash in there. Him getting the, uh... Oh, oh, almost... <clears throat> 
Almost took a Godbreaker there. Then meteored right into Milky Cannon. Oh, but Faith spamming it. Oh, but it doesn't work. Throwing out a meteor. Man, Sweaty's laying it down. Oh, I cannot believe he thought that would work. I mean, Evil Whirlwind doesn't move you, so of course, uh, Milky Cannon's gonna hang around and, uh, explode on you. I see Faith using a lot of Victory Cannon. It's very annoying, uh, evasive, I gotta admit. Because it moves you back in a straight line, I'm not sure how it would do against Special Beam Cannon. But Faith seems to be turning this around. Oh, but of course, how could I doubt my man, Sweaty, coming through for the win. So now it's one to one, and we will see who will bring home the gold for their team. Will it be Faith? Will it be Sweaty? Obviously, I'm hoping it's Sweaty. I just, I have no words. I have no words for what's happening here. Faith caught him with the barest edge of that fucking gravity impact. And then goes for a blaster meteor, but takes a meteor of, of her own to the face. Sweaty trying to keep him on the back foot, like before. But, uh... Oh! Very nice move from Sweaty. Faith just took that pearl flash. At this point, there's one of those matches where it's like, there's enough of a difference where I would want to call it one way, but I have to say, just because I've watched the recording, and so obviously I know what happens, pay attention to what Faith does. Since she's, he's, he's fought Sweaty twice before, he's seen what's going to happen. Ask yourself, is he reacting, or is he trying to put Sweaty in a particular place? It's one of those things where it's just like, you see people switch it up when they're about to lose, and switch up their strategy, <clears throat> but is that actually what's happening here? Faith definitely just took that Pearl Flash to the face, and so it's one of those things where it's just like, you think Sweaty's got it in the bag, but you see he's trying to keep Sweaty far away now. I mean, he wasn't succeeding in it that, uh, there for a second. Because, you know, Sweaty's got so many ways to come back in on you. But he just blocked all of that. And now he got another Milky Cannon out. He blocked that. Took some more combos. Victory Cannon, of course, being OP as shit. Sweaty, my man. Taking a couple of blasts that he didn't need to take there. And that didn't need to happen. You see, Faith has just chipped him down. And now, he's low on stamina, so he's having to take damage that he wouldn't have had to take otherwise. This was such a... Oh, he perfect blocked it. I've never seen someone perfect block Milky Cannon, but it just fucking happened. Faith, of course, backpedaling to uh, make use of the uh, little bit of desync there. Oh, no, Sweaty, he did the evil whirlwind thing again. Oh, man. It's coming so close, so close. It's so down to the wire. At stages like this, all it takes is for one person to fuck up. So, Sweaty falls to Faith. Very good fight. And now Cujo steps up to the plate. So, you remember when I was asking about how Faith would do against Special Beam Cannon before? Well, we all know what Cujo's infamous for doing. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, I'm not saying it happens in this particular fight, but, you know, it is what it is. I was actually surprised because I thought this matchup was going to be a good one. But it's one of them things where I don't know if Cujo was on his A game on this day. 
So maybe I'm giving it away. I don't know. But I mean, like, if you look, he hasn't even touched Faith yet. He threw out a god, uh, a, uh, a Wrath there, and Faith just blocked it. And now he threw out the ghosts, and so Faith is just gonna blow him up with gravity impact. Oh, uh, which is the same thing I would do. Kujo hates it when I do that. He's like, you're not gonna let me have my ghosts, are you? No. Hell no, screw that. I'm not gonna let you have shit. And Faith obviously didn't let him have it either. So he goes in for a couple of melee hits, prevents the Milky Cannon, but gets grabbed after Gravity Impact, and then takes shells to the face. So Faith has barely been scratched, and Kujo's at half. Yeah, son, I, I are uh, a little disappointed. Locked again. Oh! Special Beam Cannon misses. Faith just like sidesteps and is just like, nope. Oh! Kujo almost takes a grab at uh, Milky Cannon but blocks it. And then throws out a perfect shot, but then Faith blocks that. And there they're clashing. Oh, another Special Beam Cannon. Again, because we all know what Kujo is infamous for doing. Kujo is infamous for throwing out the random special beam cannons. Just because of the fact that, like, if Juice Box's death beam is the death beam that will pierce the heavens, Kujo's special beam cannon is the special beam cannon that will pierce the heavens easily. But, uh, Faith kicked his ass. So now we're going to see their second match. Again, Kujo versus Faith. We'll see if Kujo can pull out a uh, better performance this time. Faith doing a little bit of a step vanish there to fuck with him. Oh, just smacked him once in the face. Faith's laying the hands. This is a sign of disrespect. Or, you know, some people would argue, at least. Just because of the fact that Faith is just like, Yeah, I know. I know. I know I'm just going to fuck your shit up. I'm just going to step in, smack you once, smack you twice. Of course, then again, that could have also just been because of the lag that was happening. So, it could be a multitude of things. Then Kuju's over there, and... Uh, excuse the steam overlay here for a second. I, uh... Being me... Had to check on the chat. But, uh, apologies there. Trust me, you didn't miss much, though. It was just Kujo running in and getting smacked out. Doing almost nothing to Faith. I find it hilarious that Faith is just barely out of range for that. Kujo didn't even block it, it missed. Oh, and then Faith throws in a multi uh, milk cannon. And I think if you hit the Wrath Bolts, it will also hurt the caster. I'm not sure about that. But that Milky Cannon didn't quite connect with Kujo, I don't think. And that Blaster Meteor actually knocked him out of it. So... Yeah, Wrath is an interesting move. I feel like we need to do some more research into exactly what interacts with it and how it interacts with it. Kujo going for the uh, special beam cannon setup. Oh, perfect block to the gravity impact. And then perfect block the wrath. Milky cannon thrown away. I know you're seeing graphical glitches here showing Faith not doing as much damage. Alright, so you know, like, that meteor, that, uh, milk cannon was nowhere near Kujo, but yet when he shot the Wrath Bolts, it hit him. So, interesting. And then, but his perfect shot completely negated the milky cannon and just blasted right through it. And there you go. So, 
Kujo's down. Faith has two. Sober. Step up, son. And when Sober is asked to step up in the name of Anti, Sober has thus far never disappointed. Sober, of course, is going to be leading Anti in Season 2. Uh, it's going to be him, Cujo, and Juicebox. I am going to be leading our secondary uh, team that's in the league. Because Anti is really more than just, you know, us. It's, a f it's really a feeling that's been created by this whole thing. Uh, but uh, I'm going to lead our second half. So, you know, you know we're the Anti squad. Well, Sober's going to have the Anti. I'm going to have the squad. And it's going to be me, Irioku, and Sweaty. But yeah. While I've been rambling on about that, Sober's been uh, taking a bit of a beating. Faith uh, giving him a little more trouble than one would might think. And, uh, oh, point blank Milky Cannon took all the shells. Sober kind of got his ass kicked here, but I don't think Sober was quite exactly expecting what Faith was going to do. So I feel like that's part of it. And uh, Faith just victory cannon out of a Shining Slash and then hit Sober with a God Breaker to finish it. So let's see if Sober can, you know figure out exactly how to get around that because you saw him get hit by a uh, milky cannon a lot there so he just grabbed faith and he's just stepping around dodging the milky cannon because he knows what's going to happen waiting for it to go off arm crash in it hits faith he doesn't go for the god breaker bait pro flash passed but it took him out of range of god breaker even though it hit him and set it off Wait for the Milky Cannon. Oh, but it cost him a little bit of health. And I took that last ball there. Backing up, waiting out Godbreaker. Sober fights so fast when he's fighting tactically. You can see it. It's just incredible. It's, it's very difficult to keep up with. He threw out an unexpected Pro Flash there, which hit Faith. And Sober's pulling it back here. He threw an arm crash through the Milky Cannon and hit Faith. Another Pearl Flash. Faith wasn't ready for it. Didn't block it. Milky Cannon goes out, but Sober just steps around it. Arm crashes through a couple of the bolts, but gets hit with a couple of the balls. Throws out an arm crash, but manages to armored boost the gravity impact. Jockeying for position. He steps in, tries to get smashed, but Faith steps around it, throws out an arm crash, gets hit with a Godbreaker, armor boost straight up, throws a couple of black punches out, but takes a Milky Cannon to the face. Oh, and the Pearl Flash again that Faith just doesn't seem to be able to anticipate. They're stepping around, Sober Soul, Step vanishes, Step vanishes again, oh, tries to get him with a kick, but takes a Milky Cannon into a Blaster Shell. Meteor? I forget the name of that move. I keep mixing it up. Triggers another Godbreaker with an arm crash, but has to armored boost out. And that is how you actually dodge that move. The invisible Milky Cannon. Oh, God. Sets it off again with arm crash. Sober, my boy. You're going to have to realize every time you do arm crash... Faith is gonna fucking pop Godbreaker. Except for potentially the one time that he doesn't, but you can't count on that. Who's gonna go in first? Oh! Sober gets a perfect block, grabs Faith. What is gonna happen? The clock is getting low. What you gonna do, Sober? Oh, right at the very end. A tiny amount of disrespect from the Milky Cannon, but Sober pulls it out. Pulling it back, 1-1 against Faith. 
Let's see who takes home the gold. Who's going on? Sober, you're one of our last hopes, man. You know it. Help us, Obi Soul Kenobi. Oh, Step Vanish attacks Faith, but takes a Milky Cannon. Takes some shells. Oh, has to armor boost out of the Godbreaker. Sets it off twice in a row. Takes the second one to the face. Godbreaker is a very infuriating move to deal with, no doubt. I mean, so is Burst Rush. That pressure sign better just because you can wait after that, like, beat where they're like, haha, and they're beckoning you. And then if you just wait for after a little amount of time, you can grab somebody out of it, you can smack them, you can do whatever. Just, you know, you have to, like, hold off for a second. Well, I've been waffling on about uh, pressure sign. Silver Soul has actually started to pull ahead in the battle against Faith, although it's pretty much dead even at this point. Throws out another Pearl Flash, but for some reason, Faith doesn't ever be able to, ever be able to seem to either uh, sidestep or perfect block, although it, admittedly, it's a very fast move. It's very difficult to do that. But you do see that he keeps taking him. Sober's jockeying around because he doesn't want to go in because he knows that if he goes in, that will happen. He'll get hit with a Godbreaker. So he has to hit Faith with something that's not going to set it off. Although a very nice combo there into a Shining Slash. Faith has this victory cannon out. Takes hit. Another Pearl Flash to the face. Throws out a Meteor. Which Sober Soul armor boosts around. It's so incredibly close, Sober. You got this, my man. Faith finally managing to perfect block that Pearl Flash. Throws out another Meteor. But takes an Arm Crash. And Sober Soul pulls it out. And so in part two we'll see the exciting conclusion to Anti vs. Fire.